we are changing the way we make a diagnosis of MS. We know that multiple sclerosis is a common disease, but regretfully, it takes a long time for people to get a diagnosis of MS, on average, about two years. And we also know that multiple sclerosis many times is diagnosed incorrectly. We calculate that approximately one in five people diagnosed with MS, or 20% of individuals, may not actually have the disease. The current criteria, although good and useful, need some improvements. And the new criteria are trying to fill those gaps to make the diagnosis both early and accurately. This is done through the incorporation of new biomarkers for the disease. Also, we're working on making the diagnosis earlier. Previously, individuals who did not have symptoms but had a brain MRI that looked like MS are now going to be able to be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. This is going to be a really big change for how we think about MS. Previously, we kind of relied on people's presentations and their neurological examinations, and these criteria are a move in the right direction. We hope that one day we will have a purely biomarker-based diagnosis so that we can run a simple test and make a spot diagnosis of MS in individual. Because the most important thing is if you diagnose MS early and you start treatment early, you really prevent disability and people can live almost normal lives.